guys, what's up? It's Teets here with Four Dads. Today I'll be playing Madeira Municipal Golf Course. Trying to break 80. Haven't played here since I believe about January. In the cold, it was wet. I did not play well at all. But uh, hopefully you guys will see a good round. It's supposed to be mid 80s. It's supposed to be beautiful today before it jumps back up into the mid 90s here in uh, Madeira, California. But uh, Going with the jumbo max grips again. Uh, I'm going to be cutting off my swing a little bit. I've been having a little bit of wrist pain, and I think it really comes down to my finish and me turning my left wrist, as weird as that sounds. So when I had the best round of my life that I shot that one under, uh, I had a cutoff swing on my irons, and I'm going to see if that plays any factor today by doing the same thing. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll be playing for the whites or blues, but I will let you know. And uh, if you guys enjoy this video, please smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to stay fly and go low. Starting with a par four here, 424 yards. Uh, hit my drive just a tad to the right. Slight little fade, heal it, and luckily do not end up in the bunker. Second shot coming up is going to be just left of the bunker. Ball a little bit above my feet here, and I do end up pulling it and hitting it a little bit farther than I expected. I expected about 155, it went about 168, 170. Puts me in a really tough spot here at Madeira Municipal Golf Course. If you're off the fairways, off the green, you have this hard sand to hit off of, and I just chunk the crap out of my pitch shot, and it just rolls all the way to the other side of the green, which sets me up for a difficult par chip save here, and I actually put a decent chip on it in my opinion, uh, giving me a good opportunity for bogey one putting it about two to three feet away, and fortunately I am able to drain it, and just like that I am one over after one. Now coming up on the par 4, 394 yards, slight little dog leg left, and I do pull my drive a little bit here. I do get over one of the trees, but it does set me up right behind one of the trees, which legitimately blocks off my opportunity at pitching it onto the green. So I have to take my medicine and chip it to the right, avoiding that tree and kind of setting myself up to chip it onto the green. Hopes for an up and down par, but I do have a bunker on the left side, and I end up hitting the crap out of this thing. And instead of going about 30, three to 40 yards I hit it about 50 55 on top of the green just on the fringe and now I'm putting downhill and this ball just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling fortunately it does stop maybe about four to five yards maybe about ten, like maybe nine ten feet for bogey here as I put the putt up and fortunately I am able to convert and just like that back-to-back -back bogeys Par 3, 190, going 6 iron here, and actually this is probably the best iron shot of the day for me, as I put this thing about 8 to 9 feet right of the hole, pin high as you see coming up on this putt, I do have an opportunity for birdie, and it looks like it's going into the last second, it cuts left, and I have to go with a par here, and two over after three. Apologize for none of the flyovers like on my previous videos, but at this course, they didn't have any here. First par five of the day, fourth hole. I hit my drive pretty decently, just a little bit to the right. I am pushing it again. I still have somewhat of an issue with lining up my tee shot and not being a ball or so behind it, as you'll see throughout the day here. First time with me taking out the three wood, about 245, 50 yards to the hole, and I somewhat top it, but it rolls about 200 yards. Puts me at about 64 yards out. I pitch it up with my 58 degree, and don't put a terrible pitch shot on it, honestly, but I definitely could have gone a little bit better, as I always want to leave myself an uphill putt if I have the opportunity, and I do here. Though I thought it would break left and it never ended up breaking up left. Back to back pars here. Par 4, 385 yards. Great drive down the middle of the fairway, just a tad right, which is fine. Hole is just on the left side, but still putting me in for attacking position. Only downside is I have not done too much practice with my wedges, as I'm about 65 yards, and I do hit it well. I just hit it about 15 to 20 yards too far. So I have a very, very long birdie putt coming back about 15 yards, which comes out to about 45 feet or so. Not bad speed, honestly, but it did go a little bit more right than I expected it. And I have a par putt of about three to four feet here, and I pull it. First three putt of the day, bogey, three over. 
Unfortunately, on this part three, the tee shot did not record. I did end up hitting it pretty badly into this bunker here, just to the right of the hole by 188, but I do put a decent bunker hit off of this one, honestly. Do have a great shot, decent approach, give me an opportunity for a par, and besides the last hole, my putter has been pretty decent, especially a lot better compared to my last round, but I am not able to convert and get the up and down, and back to back bogeys, putting me at four over. Now coming up on the seventh hole here, hole to the left, I hit a branch, it bounces right into the fairway, puts me at about 200 yards out. This is a short par four, but I still have about 194. So I end up hitting this one with about a six iron again, hit it really well, clips a tree, but still gets through somehow and puts me on top of the hill just left of the green. As you see here, I try to put a little flop on this shot here, a little finesse. Unfortunately, it does work out about 18 yards or so away. Can't really see the, you can, you can see the top of the flag stick right there, but I do give myself an opportunity for the up and down. And fortunately, I'm able to convert back on that part train. As we get over to the eighth hole, this one is a par four, 387 yards. I do hit my drive well here, but again, I'm just finding these trees. It's like my ball has a magnet to these trees. As you see my next approach shot here, I have no chance. So I have to kind of, you know, kind of hit it a little punch shot here, but ends up hitting a little higher than I expected. Clips a tree and is short of the green. And just like that, I'm scrambling for par once again. My third shot is a chip about 24 yards and it just hits clean off the face. I get great contact, but I just did not get any spin on it. Unfortunately, give me a very difficult putt. Look at where I'm aiming here, left to right breaker, and I almost drained this thing, which would have been probably the best putt of the day if I would have been able to drain that. And just like that, I'm back on the bogey train, plus five on the day going into the par five ninth hole have a solid drive here a little off balance still a little uncomfortable with the driver for the time being which is weird because at the range i feel much more confident but when i'm on on the tee for whatever reason it's, there's just no confidence there going with the three wood again and this time i top it even worse than before and this one probably goes about 55 60 yards i wasn't as lucky to get about 200 yards of rollout on this one as my next shot going with the six iron again up on a hill crazy slope end up hitting this one about pin high but about 40 yards to the left probably about 20 or so yards left of the actual green 40 yards left of the pin and i have a very difficult shot over this uh, bunker fortunately i do get over and i am desperately trying to convert and up and down to round out the day but it is going to be very difficult from about 39 40 feet away as i put a decent try on it here it breaks a little bit more than i expected but again i didn't put enough speed on it but bogey plus six on the front nine Starting off the back nine with a par four, 415 yards. This time I actually pull my drive as I did feel this one right off and I just was going obviously, honestly the exact opposite way as my playing partner Daniel all day long. He went left, right, I went left. And I have to hit this one over the trees here about 100 yards and honestly probably one of the better approach shots that I had all day as I'm able to hit it on the green over these trees and it doesn't look that, that tall and how close they were. But honestly, in my opinion, it was a very impressive, impressive shot, especially for myself. If I do say so myself, as I'm about 27 so feet away, not able to convert the birdie, but I am able to convert the par, starting off the back nine well, nothing over, nothing under, par 311th, I do pull my drive just a little bit, I think I go with a 6 iron here again, but I was not as fortunate as I was in the first par 3 where I smash it on the green, gotta go over this bunker right here, and I am able to put it over, put myself on the green, give myself an up and down situation. And as soon as I hit this putt, if you were to hear it, I was like, oh no, oh no. I thought I honestly crushed this putt, but I almost made it. And if I didn't crush the putt, it probably wouldn't even give me an easy opportunity for a bogey. And just like that, I'm one over on the back nine, par five, dog leg right. And I did not mean to do that at all, but I end up hitting it again in the trees. I am finding the trees all round with my driver. And this is making everything so difficult for me. Look at this next shot here. As I try to lay up here, fortunately, the tree that eclipses it ends up laying it perfectly right in the middle of the fairway, leaving me at a good pitch shot approach 
to get myself in position for birdie on this par 5, about 73 yards out, and hit this shot and chunk it. Hit it about 30 or so yards, and I just can't believe it because my practice shots were showing how hard the ground was. I didn't think that it'd give out like it did, so I'm extremely bummed here. I go up quickly, take my four shot, and this thing finally spins right next to the hole, able to have a nice little easy tap in par, which kind of irritates me because I was hoping to give myself an opportunity to birdie, but whatever. I'm still riding that par train, still looking for that first birdie of the day here as this drive goes to the right again finds the trees again gives myself a very difficult approach shot again which has been the story of the day as you see the hole over there to the right side there and honestly don't put a bad shot on it but with the hard ground that i'm hitting off of it's hard to hit down on it especially with my wrist issues and fortunately though i give myself a decent opportunity put a little flop on this one right here fortunately the tracer is able to pick this one up well and i'm on the green for hopefully an up and down conversion i've had a decent amount of uh chances today with those but i am about 24 feet away decent putter today especially compared to my last round where i had about 38 40 putts but you know i am another bogey on the round moving on to the 14th hole par 4 401 yards and i sky my drive i haven't skied my drive in a while and this one again goes right to the trees i believe as we come up to the second shot here and I am actually about 115, 120 yards out. I remember this shot exactly thinking it looked a lot closer than it was. If I would have grabbed the correct club, I would have put myself in great position, but I land right in front of the bunker because I was not trusting that distance. As I have a chip of about 29 yards here, and just like the previous par five, I chunk my chip, give myself not the best situation here is now I am chipping for par and i just can't believe it back-to-back -back chips that i'm chunking i just i definitely need to put some more time into that as my next chip should have started out more right started out left and didn't give myself a good opportunity to convert the bogey putt but my putter today has been a lot better than it was the previous rounds and it's been showing that putt after putt as we come up to the 15th 169 yards and again my shot goes right and I don't even give myself a green regulation. I'm probably about 39, 40 yards out and I chip it or pitch it, should I say, and it just rockets off the club face. No spin on it at all. And I give myself another difficult putt for par for the up and down about 33, 34 feet away. And it just had no business of going into that hole as you see that I come up short again about six feet or so but fortunately i'm able to two putt try to avoid the three putt which i only had once earlier in this round as we come to the 16th par four 413 yards here again this one goes left into the trees exactly exactly where it should have been exactly where i've been the massive fairways that they have here i will find the trees somehow and this is the most awkward shot i've ever had in my life look at that finish absolutely atrocious as i'm just trying to roll it up to the fairway as i did what i wanted to do about 50 yards out and i put myself here on the green again just trying to get myself an up and down that's all i can hope for because today i have not been giving myself many birdie opportunities uh i think one or two if any about 27 feet away again solid putt just could not convert a little to the left but another bogey and just like that i am 10 over this is a par 72 so i will need three under on the next th two holes here par 517 hard dog laid right you have to cover the water where i did there if you want to cut the corner which fortunately i did probably one of the better drives of the day for me as i put myself at about 166 yards out i got an eight iron and i threw an absolute dart at this pin i could not believe it especially with how low i ended up hitting this one just into the fairway I'm probably about 18, 19 feet away, and this one's got a heavy breaker. It took me a little bit of time to put up this putt, and I drain it for an eagle, and just like that, I am back nine over on the day. If I birdie this hole, I will shoot 80, where I don't break 80, but I mean, that's the best that I can do, and I'm hopeful. My drive, not the best, but it is in the fairway. I will take that over one to the right or to the left in the trees. At least give myself an opportunity. Coming up with my 54 degree wedge here. As I push it a little bit on top of the hill, there's a hill on the right side of the green, hoping that it trickled down. 
Unfortunately though, it did not trickle down and I'm really nervous with this putt as I barely hit it. If you watch my reaction, I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, this thing is not going anywhere. This is the slowest putt. It's a crazy slope, but it still did not go anywhere. And now I'm extremely nervous for this next putt. But the putter saved the day, plus nine on the day. Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys enjoyed my round. Definitely not the round that I was hopeful for, you know, but uh, it is what it is. It is golf. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see me right now because the sun is directly behind me, but that eagle was dope. My second ever eagle. Glad you guys were able to witness that and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you have gotten this far and uh, don't forget to stay flying. Go low. See you next time.